หลังจากประเทศพมา่าปิดประตูประเทศมานานกว่า40ปีก่อนตัดสินใจเปิดประเทศสู่ประชาคมโลกอย่างเป็นทางการในช่วง 1-2 ปีที่ผ่านมาได้สร้างความสนใจจากนักลงทุนทั่วโลกให้หันมามองตลาดนี้อย่างพร้อมใจกันเรียกได้ว่าพมา่ากลายเป็นประเทศที่เนื้อหอมที่สุดในอาเซียนเลยทีเดียวเมียนมาร์ has been getting the spotlight for a while how do you view its development so far we did a piece of Uh, research on the future of uh, Myanmar for the next 20 years. Uh, fascinating uh, insights. I do believe in the potential of that country. For example, we believe that the GDP of Myanmar could quadruple in the coming uh, 20 years. Uh, by the way, just following the path of countries like Thailand or Indonesia, this is what Thailand did in the 80s and Indonesia has done in the past. Uh, 15, uh, 20 years. Uh, so it's not a impossible uh, target for Myanmar to quadruple its economy. The country has a quite sizable population, 60 million or so. Uh, it has a lot of natural resources. Um, it's one of the new frontiers that we have in this part of the world. So many companies are now very interested by Myanmar. I do believe there are a lot of great opportunities from the business point of view, but also as we discuss, there needs to be a substantial effort for helping the Burmese people to also grow their uh, average income level after years of uh, isolation. The main challenge for Myanmar will be to create favorable condition to exploit that potential in the next two to three years. The next two to three years will be critical for Myanmar to capture or to miss its promise, its opportunity. What I mean by that is political stability, regulation that enables foreign companies to operate in a quite uh, normal way in Myanmar. Uh, investment into basic infrastructure such as uh, energy, electricity, water treatment, uh, transportation, all those things that make life of business people and also the local people a bit easier so that the economy can continue to grow smoothly. You talk about political stability. That is not something Thailand has at the moment. But are you still confident in the long-term growth of Thailand? If you look from the fundamentals point of view and on a longer time frame, Thailand is still a very important uh, market for most of the multinationals. It's quite uh, developed, uh, a big population, 65 million, centrally located in the Mekong area, right, between Myanmar and uh, Laos, uh, Cambodia and Vietnam. So Thailand has a lot of assets. It has a quite strong industrial base, great infrastructure, um, good connectivity with other ASEAN countries. So I do believe in the f economic future of Thailand, absolutely. It will remain, it is already a very important economy in Southeast Asia. You say that Thailand still has um, strong fundamentals, but there are other countries in the region that are rising as well, like Vietnam or Indonesia. So how can Thailand uh, maintain its competitive edge against competition coming up within the region itself? It's going to be much tougher than before, very clearly. But as I said, Thailand has some advantages in the agricultural sector. We have a lot of uh, very strong companies in Thailand operating in that sector. Thailand also has industrial companies, especially with the support of foreign companies like in the automotive spare parts sectors, in the uh, electronic sector, uh, construction, where uh, Thai companies are still ahead of other companies in the region. In the energy sector also, Thai companies have very strong base, so they need to accelerate the expansion outside of Thailand in order to reach a much uh, uh, greater scale to be more powerful uh, against uh, other uh, uh, countries and companies in the region. Um, Thailand also has the benefit of having maybe more uh, talent pool, a, a larger talent pool than other countries that have just started really to um, get the next generation educated outside of their countries. I'm talking about Vietnam and Indonesia and in the future, mm -hmm. Myanmar. 
many Thai uh, people in their 30s or 40s have had some sort of experience outside of Thailand. Either they studied outside of Thailand or they have worked in foreign companies in Thailand. So that is a, a quite uh, 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 important advantage, although a very qualitative one. You cannot measure that, but it makes a difference. 